Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Hey everybody, Mike Wood here from Vespero. Today I'm going to show you some cool features of the new Ruby 10 handheld video magnifier. Uh, this is a great product. It has tactile buttons as well as touchscreen capability. So you can actually use this similar to uh, your smart tablets and devices that you used to. So one of the first things here is I have this on a book and I want to show that if you want to enlarge the text you can actually pinch to zoom and really easy same thing to decrease or on the right hand side you have a plus and a minus and if you press and hold these they zoom in or zoom out and you also have some haptic feedback there as well so you'll hear a little vibration as you press the button you can get really large over here on the left hand side you have a color contrast button so this will allow you to change the contrast so some of the key things with low vision that you really want to look for are obviously magnification contrast and lighting so those are the key things and so changing the contrast allows you to actually make the letters pop a little bit more off the screen so here is something that is a high contrast view where you have a black background with white text on it and this is really nice because it's a little easier on the eyes and not as glaring as the white background with black text one of the patent pending features of this product is edge enhancing and when I tap the screen on the top right hand side is our edge enhancement button when I tap that you'll notice it actually highlights the text in a pink outline if I tap it again it actually just makes the text a little bit thicker and the third tap actually outlines the text in white if I want to increase or decrease that I can actually press and hold on that top button and you'll see here this just gives you a nice outline of that text which again this just cuts down on that eye fatigue and gives you a, a nicer view sometimes depending on the text you're reading. In the bottom left hand side you can touch and that will allow you to increase or decrease the brightness of your screen so depending on the lighting conditions of your room. On the bottom right hand side you actually have another contrast option so this just gives you kind of a boost in your contrast and if you want to get into your menu functionality you can click up on the top left and then that gives you the main menu options so from here you can actually do a lot of cool things I won't go into all of the things today uh, but you've got the capability of opening files or saving files uh, you also have the capability to mirror cast the screen so if you have a large TV with mirror cast capabilities I can actually push out the image from this Ruby 10 onto a large flat screen TV. You also have Bluetooth capability. So if you wanted to Bluetooth link this to a headset, uh, because this does have scanning capability, so you can scan and read using this. Uh, so again, back to that eye fatigue. As you're using it, if your eyes start to get a little tired, you can actually just sit back and have this read the text to you. Uh, so you can push that out to a Bluetooth audio. You can also change the voices in here. So if you are a native Spanish speaker or if you're taking Spanish classes or German, French, Italian, you can actually have the material in that language, scan it in and choose a voice on this that will read it to you in that native tongue. And so the button that's below our contrast button uh, allows you to add a nice guideline or masking for reading. So this is great I find for tracking purposes. So right now I've got a, a novel underneath this, just a book paperback book and if I wanted to add a guideline you'll notice that it's really nice because it keeps your place of where you are what line of text you're on if you touch the screen you can actually move that guideline around and you can actually increase again by pinching and zooming so it keeps you right on that line of text which is really nice if you want to cut out some of that visual clutter uh, when you're talking about working with students that might have some issues with visual clutter or learning disabilities, this is a great feature because looking at a lot of text on the screen might be intimidating to somebody that has a reading or writing you know, issue. So the next click actually does masking functionality. And what this does is cuts out a lot of the other text on the screen and just focuses in on, you can decide if you want to just focus it on one line at a time. And as you move the Ruby across, you'll be able to follow along with that line or if you wanted to add in two lines, you can really decide and you can move that easily up and down the screen. Another neat feature in this is this has a swing out arm on it. So the nice thing with that swing out arm is if I pull that arm out, it actually has a camera built into the end of this. Um, and what that allows me to do is now take my book and I'm gonna change my contrast here back to live color. And you actually have a full page mode. So I can slide this book sideways if I wanted to scan this in and have it read to me. 
Uh, but this also comes really in handy if you were filling out forms. So if I had a notepad and I wanted to write underneath this, I can write easily underneath this. And I can pinch and zoom and increase the size of that. And as I'm writing, I can just easily write underneath. And let me show you the scanning capability here quickly as well. So again, if I have this book and I want to scan this entire page in, I can actually press and hold on the bottom left hand side there's a camera button. If I press and hold that, it automatically will snap a picture of this textbook and it will start processing that text. And when we hit that play button, one remembered, Hatchy said, and only years later did I recall her words and understand what she meant. And we can enlarge that again, and we can drag over to where we want to be at. And if there's any word that you want to tap on, from you can shop. start reading at she that point. She's an elegant lady who carried herself proudly. And we can speed that voice up and slow it down. So depending, you can also switch to male, female, and as I said, different accents are different languages. So now that this is in there, we can actually save this to come back to later. So this is great for classroom usage. Also, uh, you think about at home, you might want to just read quickly some of your mail to see if it's something that's really important, or if it's junk mail, you can scan it have this read it to you and quickly you can decipher whether or not it's something you want to keep or trash. So this reading stand, which keeps it at a nice ergonomic level, also collapses and is built in. So you can see here that it's actually really lightweight, comes in a nice carrying case, and that reading stand just collapses right into itself. So to open that back up, just do that there. Um, and the only buttons on the side are you've got a power button, you do have an auxiliary audio jack, so if you are using a headset that's not Bluetooth capable, you can plug that in there. And then you have a USB-C port. That USB-C port is used for charging, and that's also used to transfer files back and forth to the computer. So you can transfer files from the computer to the Ruby 10, and from the Ruby 10 to the computer as well. Uh, so, handy dandy little product, packed full of fun features, so it's a really cool tool. Um, you can definitely learn more about this if you go to our YouTube page. We've got an entire webinar on the Ruby 10, so feel free to check it out or reach out to us at Vespero. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.